Hi Mac fam, so I know I've been gone for a while and I'm sorry, as a lot of you know, my great uncle Jerry, Uncle Jerry passed away, he's my great uncle, he's my mom's uncle, so, um, yeah, so, went out of town for that, just got back yesterday, and so, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a little hard. I cried a little bit at the visitation, which the vis visitation and funeral were both really good, but the visitation was good. I cried a little bit there, but, you know, Uncle Jerry looked really good. And then at the funeral, I lost a little bit more. Usually people will cry a little bit more at the funeral. And, yeah, so they left the casket open for a little bit, and then they closed it. And then when the service started... They brought him into the room with the service, and they did all of this in the same building, same funeral home, and they did a really good job. Um, a lot of the family brought food and dishes and meals, and we ate the visitation, and then the funeral, we came back home, because all of us just kind of wanted to go home, and, um, you know, it was good, and um, we had leftovers at our house. We just ate leftovers from the visitation. But a lot of people brought a lot of food, and it was good. And there was an area there where, where like, for little kids, um, you know, if you if you brought a kid or this or that, had a few family members bring little, some family bring some kids of theirs, and so they would go sit in that room. There was, like, a TV, some play thing, so they kind of take care of everything. If you have kids, your kids can, like, go in there, and you can be with the family, and it's right in there, too. It's in a different room, but it's right in there where you would eat, where we ate, you know, where all the food was. So, if you, you know, you're, you could see your kid in there. and Yeah, so that's really cool. So, just think about that. And I might try to, if I can, give you the name of the place um, because it was just really good. And if any of you are, like, in need of a funeral, they did really good. And then they we were escorted to the grave site where we buried him. Um firefighters they kind of there was a fire truck that led the way there was a giant flag that somebody hanged up and a lot of the people were just like doing this or doing this you know because he did serve uncle jerry did serve um and so yeah so that's that's great um but yeah so um yeah, it's just been kind of sad and not with it. I actually got back from my family's and I'm like, oh no, I left a lot of my stuff there. I found my hat, luckily, and I was like, did I not bring my hat? <laughs> Maybe I didn't bring it. I don't know, but I can't find a few other things that I need, like my hairbrush. I know I left my hairbrush there because I've looked everywhere for it and I can't find it. I'm just, I'm not really with it, and my grandmother's having a hard time too, so... Yeah, because this was our twin brother, but um, I wanted to share a few things with you. So this is a flower. It's, it's dying, and I feel bad about that, but they had flowers on top because they put, they buried him, and they covered it with dirt, and they're going to make it into like a, a gravestone, grave, whatever they call it. So yeah, um, so yeah, um. So we all got to pick a flower if we wanted to, and I picked this one, and I really liked it. I just hate that it's dying, but it still smells good, but <laughs> yeah. So, um, and he's buried actually right beside my mom's high school, which is really cool. Um, and then they played a slideshow, which I'm not gonna... Post that. But it's called, um... My Old Man by Zach Brown Band. So just look that up on YouTube. It's called My Old Man. It's a good song. It's really, really a good song. So just look that up. Um, and then here are a few things. So in loving memory of him. There he is. There's a picture of him. They had slideshow pictures too at the visitation and at the funeral. And yeah. Um, so 
So they, do they do cremations too? I think they do. Because it says Sumner Funeral and Cremation Lakeside. S-U-M-N-S-U-M-N-E-R Funeral and Cremation Lakeside. Okay, I don't know if we were near a lake. I don't remember us being near a lake, but where he was buried, it was really pretty. Um, Uncle Jerry, age 74, passed away unexpectedly on March 5th, 2022. He was born on February 2nd, 1948, to his parents. Um... He survived by his son, grandson, sisters, twin sister, younger brother, um, some nephews and nieces. Um, for high school, he did athletics, track, and basketball. He was a state champion in the 100-yard dash, 200-yard dash. He was named Mr. Trackman. <laughs> was also drafted by the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. He was a veteran. Mm -hmm. And was retired from the fire department with 30 years of service. So he did, he was a veteran and then he did, he was a firefighter, firefighter. <laughs> so yeah, the firefighter's prayer. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames my range, gives me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it's too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert, to hear the weakest shout, and quickly and effectively put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best of me, to guard my neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your will, I have to lose my life, bless with your protecting hand, my loving family, from sacrifice. Oh, that's cute. So... And this was his service. Um, yeah. So, here is this. <laughs> yeah, so there's a picture of him and just a little bit more information um celebrating his life yeah there's somebody saying how great that thou art she was amazing um words of witness somebody in our family spoke um, and then I played that song, My Old Man, by Zach Brown Band. That was like a slideshow video of him, his son, his grandson, you know, just pictures throughout his life. Um, and then we had like a little sermon and the gospel lesson and a solo again. It is well, you know, with my soul, I think that song. Um, and then the, they had a service, had another service where they final resting place. So they buried him. Um. Yeah, right beside my mom's high school. So, cool. And then, um, talks a little bit about his life again. Um, on the back. And then pallbearers and honorable pallbearers. And then honorable alternate pallbearers. The family of Jerry thanks you for your gracious gift of presents and all your acts of kindness. Always be good. So they had a lot of family helping him with the um, casket. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So just, um, you know, and if you, you know, want to, if you're in that area or want to have a service there, you, you know, you could because they're just, they're really good. Like, I would, I would really recommend them because they really took care of all of us. And, yeah. So, look, look up that song, My Old Man, because I feel like YouTube would cut it off because it would be like a copy-paste. But it's a really, really good song. But, alrighty, I just wanted to let you know. And then I have a few memories with him. Not much, but he loved watching those old Western shows. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then, um, sorry. 
Um, he gave me some really good advice. He told me, asked me kind of what I was wanting to do with my life or what I was doing. He was like, okay, honey, that's good. I told him a few things, a few things I've been thinking about and told him about my job and, you know, college when I was doing it and I think my job a little bit. Maybe I did tell him about that, but I told him a few things just what I was thinking of like career wise and kind of what I'm wanting to do. And he's like, okay, honey, that sounds good. And he told me, honey, you're so young. He's like, you have the rest of your life to figure out what you want to do. And, you know, he's like, just do something that's going to make you happy. And uh, I'm never going to forget those words. And that's just really good advice, you know. I do wish sometimes a lot more people <laughs> would tell us things like that. But um, I feel like I've had people tell me that, too, in my life. I don't think he's the only person that's told me that. But, you know, when somebody genuinely tells you that, it just it makes you feel good. But he's right. I'm so young, and I have the rest of my life to figure out what I want to do, and I just do need to do something that's going to make me happy. I mean, he's right, so never going to forget that, and rest in peace, Uncle Jerry, and we love you, and he's buried at a very beautiful place, so, yeah. Yeah, so. Alrighty, well if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you have not already, sorry, always keep your head up, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.